What's up guys and welcome back to Thief Simulator. Today we are going to be continuing on with the story mode of this game. So some of you guys might recognize this place right here. This is our first ever hideout. This is where everything began. We had some new DLC that I uploaded the other day where you could like buy a house and there's the new industrial complex and neighborhood and stuff like that. We kind of checked it out. I wanted to get a feel for it, see if you guys missed this series and you definitely did. A lot of you guys were really excited to see it back. So um, we're going to continue on with the story mode here. Now, if you guys remember, spoiler alert, the way the game ended was that this package was dropped off, we picked it up, and it exploded. The people we were working for just kind of offed us, they wanted to tie up some loose ends, and that's how the original game ended. But now we've got some DLC, so I'm assuming that either we didn't die or something different is going to happen, but I'm not sure. So we're going to go ahead and pick this up and see what we've got going on. Okay, so it's the same as the first time. But the first time, the credits started rolling right after this. But I think... I think we may have survived? We survived! We picked up our- No way, dude! We picked up our crowbar and we're gonna go like, Jason on these fools or something, dude. Are you kidding me? We're back at the house now. And Vinny is our target. Bro. Okay. Go to a spy location in the industrial neighborhood. Nice. All right. So this, this is going to be kind of cool. This is, uh, at least now we have kind of some direction. We know what we're doing. We, we have like a purpose. We're not just stealing for the heck of it. Because we've got plenty of money, man. But you guys can see we've got like nearly 100K. I guess we bought the house, so we lost some. But... Go to a spy location in the industrial neighborhood. It says, looks like we've got potentially something up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and park the van. And let's run up this way. All right, here's our spy location. Mark the gate control panel with binoculars. How do I use binoculars? Hold on a second, you boys gotta go to Dick's Sporting Goods. We gotta go buy some binoculars. I don't think, I don't think we have these things unlocked yet. So we'll, we'll, We'll be right back. Binoculars, thousand dollars? Dude, whatever. All right, boom, looks good to me. So we've got some binoculars now. We should be able to come into our items, tools. We should see binoculars in here. So we can go ahead and quick slot this to that. And uh, boom, we're good to go. So we're back here. Let's go ahead and pull our binocs out. See what we, ooh, ooh, hello, okay. I can't really see anything there. It says, it wants me to mark. Oh, hello. Marked it. Hacked the 303 gate panel from a distance with the hacking laptop. Dude, this is insane. This is so nice. So are we going to be able to, to tag, like, cameras and stuff now from a distance? And people and security and whatever else? What's up, bro? How you doing? Tenant route discovered. I saw a camera somewhere. We could tag the cameras from a distance. Dude, that is... Honestly, that's a game changer. Hold on, let me go around and make sure we have everything tagged and then we'll worry about the other stuff that we have going on. So the gate thing should be right here, right behind this. We're gonna be able to hack this. All right, so we're gonna go up. We're gonna go this way. We're gonna go like this, just like that, boom. We got it. So that's unlocked. Uh, the hard drive with shady business info is on the second floor. So we're gonna have to go in there. We're gonna have to steal the hard drive from Lombardi's Shady Deals. I'm thinking what we may wanna do, since our van is close and we can take naps really easily, I'm thinking we just get the entire day's routines of the guards. So I'm gonna come back over here. We're gonna sleep for like an hour or so, cause I'm, I'm pretty sure we can just sleep in the parking lot, sleep in the car. We're gonna sleep till 2 a.m. Then we're gonna get back out and then we're gonna go, we're gonna mark them again with our binoculars so we can see that next section of, of routine. And we're gonna get the full routine of all the people. All right guys, so we've got their entire day mapped out. It looks like one of them is actually heading inside right now. So we gotta keep that in mind. The other one's outside. And um, let's see exactly what we have going on. So if we go into our notes here, Notes, Industrial Street, the software warehouse. Let's see our info. So we've got two guards from midnight 
to 6 a.m. One is at the front of the house and the other one is in the office. So he's going to be inside. From 7 a.m. to 12 p.m., one's at the the car gate and one's at the front of the house. Ooh. So from t 7 to 12, nobody's inside. We need to figure out how we're going to get in the house. I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to play this really smart. I really don't want to be caught. You guys know we were caught in our last episode. So we need to figure, I, I know we can open up the car gate with our electronic PDA thing. Oh, it looks like we, we might be able to climb this at the back of the house and get up into the balcony. I don't know if that's gonna be possible. Dude, I definitely think we can climb that. All right, fellas, it's 4 a.m. and it's time to strike. Let's get it, baby. Here we go. So one's inside, one's outside. It's 6 a.m. The guy inside is going to come outside. We're going to make sure we're ready for that. Looks like the gate is closed. We're going to have to hack this again. Here we go. Come on. Let's go, baby. All right, so we're going to have to get it down there. I think we could probably go like this, this, this. That's, uh, that's, this is not, this is not going well. We could go down here. Like this, like this, boom. Looks good, all right. So that's open. That should open the gate up, okay. So now we just need to get it in and around the back side with nobody seeing us. Oh, hello. That's a security camera right there. Are there any others that we didn't tag? No security cameras back here, are there? Nope. So we've got to get up to the second floor is where this hard drive is. I think we may be able to climb this gutter here, but I'm not sure. Looks like we might be able to. Let's go, baby. We're upstairs. Okay. Now, does this... I was gonna say, does this have a security feature on it? But I don't think it does. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and close this. Now we need to make sure that there are no cameras in here. I don't know that there are. So we got the hard drive. Should we do like a, a little, a little safe cracking? We got it. All the way to the end. We got it. I hear the guy downstairs moving around. It makes me a little bit nervous. Let's open this slowly, see what we've got. Another hard drive and a binder with login credentials worth 2,500. There's a laptop. Forgot you gotta open things slowly. Are we good? He's going out to the front of the house, the other one's going to the car gate, okay. We're good, we're fine, we're fine. While we're in here, I mean, I'm a little bit nervous about cameras. Sometimes it's better to just take what you got and and get out. But we'll see. Got an upstairs area here. The problem is we're gonna have to wait until nobody's there. Key card for the server room is required. What's this back over here? We should be able to open things pretty freely now. What do we have? A white projector for 1800, okay. But yeah, we should, we should be able to move around pretty freely. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna have to find a way to get out when nobody's out front of the car gate again. You know what I mean? Like it's, this is gonna be kind of tough. We also have to worry about being on the ground level and having these guys see us through the windows. I think it might, it might benefit us to just go. I'm gonna check his desk for the key card. Brown wallet with 1200, black wallet with 1200. Open this slowly, is there a key card in here? No. I'll take the PC display. How is a PC display worth more than a laptop? They got a full on freaking gaming laptops and stuff over here. I'm gonna take all these $2,000 PC displays. Don't mind me, yeah, our inventory is full. I think we're good, dude. I'd like to find that key card, but I don't think we're going to. So at 1 p.m., somebody is gonna come into the office and then somebody else is gonna come to the back of the house. So we've gotta be really careful here. I'm not sure which one switches. I'm gonna assume this one goes to the office and this one comes to the back of the house, but I'm not entirely sure. So if that's the case, what we would wanna do is sneak around this way, and then we could we could just end up running out the, the front thing. We could have potentially just gotten out right there. That guy was so far away and this guy was out front. 
That actually might be a window for us. I don't know, dude. We're gonna have to wait and play it safe. This is not worth risking. I think I'm going for it. Oh! Where's my van? My van's over on the other side, I think. Yep. Oh my goodness, dude. We did it. Whew, don't mind the dude in all black with the black gloves just running away getting his super sketchy, you know, free candy type black van. Didn't, didn't do anything wrong. Oh my goodness, dude. We freaking got it. <laughs> okay. That was fun. I like the missions where you actually have something that you're like purposefully trying to get more than, uh, than the stuff that it's just like you go around and randomly steal stuff. All right, looks good to me. We got five star on stealth, got an S class, got the hard drive and a binder with some login credentials. Overall, that was really, really good. Hack the drive at the hideout. Okay, so this is the jewelry workshop. Here's our hacking workshop. So we're gonna go with the, the drive. We gotta hack this bad boy. Only a few options here. Hmm, I'm wondering, ooh, I like that. No, we don't want to go that way. Hmm. That's a dead end, so we're going to have to go this way, go up like this. Shoot. Got it. Got it. Let's go. That was kind of a tough one. All right. So we did it. Put the hard drive in the evidence box. What is the... I'm going to guess that's over here. Jewelry shop. Is that our evidence box? Check the pin board. Okay. Accounting documents are located at the safe in the warehouse. Steal the account details from the safe in 301. So now we're gonna we're gonna have to go through and piece together this story, figure out where he is, what he's been up to, that sort of thing. This is gonna be cool. All right, so what we're gonna do is we are gonna go to the pawn shop. We're gonna offload everything that we have in our inventory right now because we're looking pretty full. And it's gonna be time to go back and get some more intel. So now we are going to have to go in 301, which if you guys remember, this is the first one that we tried when we checked out this DLC. Um, we, we should already have a little bit of info. Oh, we only have one, one area. Okay, here. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to sleep in the parking lot, get all the info on where these guys are going and what they're doing at exact times. And uh, I'll see you guys once we've got all that information. All right, so this is the last the last one. We've got them both tagged for the entire day. So we're going to go in. We're going to take a look at our notes. Industrial 101. Here we go. Oh, there's three. I forgot there are three guys here. Car gate and then front of house. So side, front, and car. They're all outside during this area. So that's, that's going to be our best time, 4 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're just going to go for it. Here we go. 4 a.m. to 2 p.m. Nobody inside. Gonna have to sneak by somebody to be able to get in the front door. It's gonna be really, really sketchy, but we're we're just gonna have to try our best. Come on, baby. We gotta hack quick. Hack fast, hacker man, hacker man in action. Why is this such a tough one, dude? Oh my goodness. Alright, we got it. We got it. Whoa! Okay. It's in the back storeroom. This is where we went and we, we were... Ooh, we're good. Motion detection lights, no big deal. We were freaking out and we ran in here and we got caught and it was just, it was all bad news, dude. All right, here we go. So we're, I, dude, I guess we wanna go this way and then this way and then this way. Boom, got it. Open it slowly, we gotta hurry up, dude. We're gonna have to crack this safe. Got it. 90. We got it. We got it. We got it. I got the account details. Now we're just gonna grab anything else we can. Did they ever, ooh, blueprints? Yes, please. Did they ever put, put back that red cinema camera? Cause if they did, your boy's taking it. Your boy is taking everything he can, but we gotta be careful. What time did I say they were switching up? I don't remember. Oh, we got Sony Vegas here. We got these projectors. Where's that camera? Where was that camera? I forget. Gotta be careful. Make sure these fools don't see us. There's that camera. Got it. 
Now what we're gonna do is we are gonna run the heck out of here as soon as we get the chance, bro. I'm gone! Woo! Let's go, baby! Oh my goodness, that was solid. We got in, got out, got exactly what we wanted, and then some. Oh, dude. We're, we're killing it. Playing it a little bit slower and really kind of being a, a bit more methodical and actually watching the tenants and stuff does, does a world of a difference. But uh, anyway, all right. So we're going to go back. I'm going to go to the pawn shop. We're going to offload this camera and the, the editing equipment and everything else. And I'll see you guys in the, uh, in the safe house. Here we go, baby. Going to go ahead and throw these in the evidence box. Hopefully that gives us a, uh, a bit more intel. Steal the key card from the safe in 302. All right, well, another piece of the puzzle coming right up. Now this one we have not taken a look at at all, so we wanna make sure we mark all of the cameras as well. So we've got a security guy right here, tenant route discovered. Looks like we're gonna have another camera back there. There's gotta be a camera in the backyard, yeah. Got it. Are there any more? There's usually at least three, if not more. Are there any up top? Looks like we've got three guys to worry about this time. And there's, I think there's multiple gates. Can we hack this gate from here? No, I think we're gonna have to get inside first. Shoot, okay. This is gonna be tough, no matter which way we cut it, dude. Like, th this is gonna be hard. I'm tempted to just, let's, let's just go for it, man. Sometimes you just gotta send it. Sometimes you just gotta do your thing. So let's go ahead and take this. Looks good. Got it. Nice. Boom. Solid. That's the garage down there. This is sketchy to say the least. Are we gonna be able to just hack this? We could just straight up hack this. Got it! Oh my god, dude! How did he not see us? Oh, he was facing the opposite direction. I was gonna say, that's a window right there. He definitely should have seen us. Come on, baby. Right there. All right, we got the key card to the server room. We got a Samsung. I'm just gonna grab whatever we can in here. A, a Samsung, actually, is what we're picking up here. A Samsung. I'll take a little laptop, another gold watch. And then I'll take that laptop. Can I take his pen? Does he have a nice pen? He's got an X-Cube console and some controllers. 220 bucks for a controller, bro. He's got some scuffs. Are you kidding me? There's another safe over here. Should we check this one? These things make me freaking nervous, but I'm down. Got it. Oop. Opened it very loud, but that's okay. $15, $15. But everybody gets $15, baby. And an amethyst bracelet and an emerald bracelet. Those are nice, though, because it doesn't really take up much much what's it called. Okay, so now we kind of YOLO'd it coming in here. Now that we've actually completed it, it makes me a little bit nervous. We need to take a look at this. So here at the motor shop, it is currently around three to 4 a.m. This guy's gonna be in the garage for a while. This guy's gonna be at the back of the house and this guy's gonna be, oh! This guy's coming in the office at, at oh, so we're gonna have to leave. We gotta get out of here while we can. Somebody heard me, but I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm out. <laughs> How did he hear me? I wasn't even moving. We're good. Dude, that was that was the closest we've been to being caught. We're detected right now. It's time to get out of here. No, no messing around. It's time to go. 